Welcome to Time News. Today we will be discussing the latest developments in the longevity industry over the past week. In this episode, we will have a total of eight news pieces to share with you. First, let's get started with cold water bathing and rapamycin. In advanced biology, the study from the University of Ottawa investigated cold water immersion effects on autophagy and apoptosis in younger and older mouse. Moderate cold stress enhances autophagy in the yarn, while high cold stress increases apoptosis. Older mouse showed minimal autophagic activation, higher apoptosis, and inflammation. In vitro, rapamycin treatment suggests a potential reversal of age-related vulnerability to cold exposure. What about NMN? A new review article in Current Aging Science investigated the role of nicotinamide mononucleotide (NMN) in promoting myocardial sites longevity and antisenescence. NMN corrects intracellular dysregulation and impacts autophagy, oxidative stress, and signaling pathways. Its application extends to conditions like ischemic heart disease and dilated cardiomyopathies, making NMN a key player in myocardial site health and longevity, which is done by Russian scientists. Next is about traditional Chinese medicine and aging. The study in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology explored the therapeutic impact of Quintai capsule (KTC), a traditional Chinese medicine, on premature ovarian insufficiency (POI). Results show that KTC increased ovarian health and regulated hormone levels through a multi-component, multi-target mechanism. The findings support the potential of KTC based on classical prescription as a treatment for POI, providing a foundation for further investigation. What about obesity? The study explored the obesity paradigm's age-dependent impact on survival. Findings review that obesity is linked to higher mortality in younger adults. As age, the protective effects of a high BMI on survival gradually increased, and a high BMI showed the effect of a protective factor on older. Participants. Additionally, systematic inflammation is identified as a significant mediator in the BMI survival relationship, which is done by Capital Medical University China. On telomere and aging, the study in the journals of Gerontology Series A reveals genetic and causal connections between telomere shortening and aging-related markers. Negative genetic correlations were found with GDF15, CRP, HbA1c, and RBC, while positive correlations existed with IGF1 and WBC. Bidirectional analysis suggests that telomere length may causally influence GDF15, HSBG. Testosterone, FI, RBC, and IGF-1 levels, highlighting its role in shaping aging-related biochemical changes, which is done by Suzhou University, China. Researchers from the University of Lausanne examined DNA methylation in premature aging mouse models to assess their relevance to natural aging. The most significant increase in DNA methylation age was observed in. ERCC1 mice, emphasizing the impact of DNA nucleotide excision repair deficit. This suggests a close link between DNA damage and accelerated epigenetic aging, particularly in models with DNA repair deficiencies, which is an aging cell. When it comes to muscle aging, the study of 550 healthy adults found that both plantar flexion velocity and strength decrease with age, while plantar flexion strength showed no significant sex differences. Plantar flexion velocity did not exhibit notable variations between males and females. Understanding these characteristics is crucial for addressing age-related mo- mobility decline in older adults, which is done by Osaka Metropolitan University in scientific reports. Finally, the study in cell stress refines a synolytic identification method using high-content fluorescence microscopy. The developed assay based on no culturing quiescent and senescent cells. With distinct nuclear markers, enables selective senescent cell counting. This approach overcomes limitations for existing techniques and exhibits cell type-specific effects of synolytics, as seen with fisetin. And that is all. Thank you for joining us on this week's Time News. We hope you found these updates informative and inspiring. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. We'll see you in next week's broadcast. Wishing you a happy and long life and new year.